This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research to talk about world-class benchmarking for wind semiconductors in Taiwan. Let's go through the company. First, we can see wind semiconductors is in the global top 20 of semiconductor manufacturers and is a pure play foundry. It specializes in making compound semiconductors designed by its electronic component vendor customers. The main applications are in the mobile telecom segment. The company is based in Taiwan and the majority of sales are in Asia. The company's got a market capitalization of a little bit over 1 billion US dollars and trades about 13 million US dollars per day with a massive 81% free float. We look a little bit at the background. Well, Wind Semi is Taiwan-based and one of the world's top 20 semiconducting manufacturer manufacturing foundries ranked by sales. It has three divisions by applications. Wi-Fi is 50%, cellular 40, and infrastructure 10. The Wi-Fi division makes compound semiconductors, semiconductors for use in Wi-Fi linked equipment such as routers, while cellular is for mobile handsets. Infrastructure includes compound semiconductors using base stations, satellites, and fiber optics. These compound semiconductors, meaning more than one element in them, are designed by wind semi's customers, mainly electronic component companies, to have superior speeds and lower power consumption. Now, the solid smartphone shipments have been the demand driver for the past few years. Everybody's got a smartphone these days. The need for faster data transmission via LTE and 5G should underpin demand for compound semiconductors in smartphones as telecom service providers promote profitable LTE services aggressively. For the infrastructure division, continuing rising demand for cloud storage should create more opportunities. So let's look at the breakdown. As we mentioned, Wi-Fi is 50%, cellular is 40 infrastructure is 10%. So now let's look at world-class benchmarking for Win Semi. First, we can see that the ranking of profitable growth is number two, and it's improved from four a few years ago. This is against 1,190 medium-sized infotech companies worldwide, so pretty darn good. Profitability maintained its number two rank, uh, and that when semi ranks among the best 238 medium infotech companies globally on roa which is profitability growth is maintained at about four so it's been pretty steady if we look at where does that profitability come from well profit margin that's still in the top decile and that's driving and what we can see on sales growth is ranked number four uh, which has fallen slightly from number three, but didn't affect the growth rank as margin change was strong at number three among its global peers. So do you see, you want to see the profitable growth ranking for a company in your portfolio? Well, just leave a comment below with the company name and country of listing and I'll post it if I have it.